before. And I, I know for a fact these are fake things. She has said it before. I have audio of her stating that um, the name that she uses on social media, that is a fake name. So she's using this fake information to file fake copyright claims on people. So she's not exposed, but she's sitting up here using everybody else's videos, everybody else's voice, everybody else's photos in her videos, right? And keep finding a way to avoid a copyright strike or to avoid legal action. Again, because she doesn't use her real personal information. So if you file something against her, she's using fake information um, that's frivolous that you cannot use to put on an IC3.gov report. So I'm going to go ahead and let you know the email that she used to file the uh, copyright claim, two false copyright claims against me. I will be letting um, the law firm who has been counseling me, I will be letting them, you know, see this. And then we will be performing legal action that way as far as this goes now that we have her email. So if you need her email, let me know as well. So let me go ahead and share with you the email. So it says that this is the even if you have any strikes or anything like that, I'm not sure if they probably went away already. But if she has st struck anyone's channel recently, you can go to the actual um, notification where they notify you that you got a strike. And you can actually um, put Okay, I, I'm going to just go through it with y'all. You're going to click next steps. And then once you get into the screen, it says view copyright details. There's an option for you to um, do a counter notification uh, to and also to contact the claimant. You're going to click contact claimant. And then what pops up is Lori Davis 2022 at gmail.com.